A short story entitled The Window tells of two men who are confined to hospital beds in the same room. Because of their illness, neither man is allowed to have certain diversions like books and television and so forth. So they fill their time in conversation, discussing things like family and vacations, jobs, personal histories. Now, neither man is able to get out of his bed. But one of the men is fortunate enough to be positioned next to a window. And as a part of his treatment, he's able to sit up in his bed for about an hour a day. And when he's in that position, he can look out the window. And he'll describe in vivid detail to the other man the things that he sees outside that window. A beautiful park with a creek running through it and all the activities of the various people. The other man gets to where he lives for these descriptions because it's the only thing to break the monotony of lying in that hospital bed. Over time, however, the one man begins to think that it's unfair that the other man has the window and he does not. And so he begins to grow frustrated and bitter. And it begins to affect his health in a negative way and, and also, I might say, his disposition. Well, one night, the man near the window wakes up coughing and choking and, and struggling and is unable to reach the nurse's call button. Meanwhile, the other man, hearing what's going on, just lies there in his bed, unmoved, just staring up at the ceiling, but not purse pushing the call button that could have brought assistance. The next day, the nurse comes in and finds the man by the window had died during the night. Well, the first man is eager to get over by the window now. And so the following day, he asks the nurse if he could be moved, and it was quickly done. So once now by the window, this man struggles up on an elbow to try to get a, a look out the window. And when he finally is able to push himself up enough, he takes a look out. And it's then that he realizes that that window just faces a blank wall. That man shows us the cruelty of bitterness and the disgust of a self-centered heart. While the other man, the man who was originally by the window, shows us that even in some of the most negative of circumstances, we can find beauty if we just look for it with our mind and with our heart and with our soul. Thank you for watching, and be kind.